At nagbablog po tayo ngayon sa National Inter Cyber Cyber <laughs> I don't know why. Just online testing. Why are you suddenly a traditional sports commentator? You sound like you're ano eh. Kato nagmo si RJ eh. <laughs> Wait. Di ko marinig sa rili ko kasi wala, wala pa wala pa ang direct. RJ Music welcomes David Archuleta. <laughs> Mga pala guys. Kasama po tayo ngayon sa ating National Interschool Cyber League presented to you by Sports program at Mineski at kami po ay ang casters nyo Asuray at Illustrado nakita po natin ang game one ng UPHS GMA same lang naman ang pangalan nila sa school nila so going on to the next team let's start and friends from University of Cordilleras what I think mm, sorry pero you know legitimate ganda ng pinakita ng UPHS especially sa second half first half they definitely were on the ropes agad pero nabawi din nila and they didn't really lose that many rounds on the first round on the first half nakabawi sila so it was still good and honestly Pinot I uh, didn't give him much love sa analysis analysis natin kanina but he was also the reason why napaka ganda ng naging outcome dun for UPHS he had multiple 4Ks aside from Makan on the other team and now we're looking to see what happens dito ngayon sa ating second map which is gonna be Haven with uh, UPHS attacking and with Lestat defending and it is Haven I think that you know Haven is one of those maps na you, you can really see a player a star player shine eh. I mean we saw it on Bind earlier si Makan yeah. kanina um, and you know Pinyot actually, actually sobrang ganda na ng pinakita nila kanina. But I, I think for a jet like, you know, Makan, makita talaga natin on Haven, there's so much room to be creative, so many sites to be able to play around with, so much map to be able to roam and do your thing. And that's where star players really are able to do, you know, dance circles around the team because there's, you know, the teams are more spread out, there's less opportunity for crossfires and trade kills. You know, I, I think this is really where a team like, um, Mm -hmm. uh, team, uh, the Makans team will really start to do a little bit better. Pero tignan and of course, um, in the meantime, do follow us on our pages nga pala, <laughs> Illustrado Casts and Asareggae. I have to plug it. We're building that fan base, okay? You know, uh, and of yeah. course, um, Youth Esports Program. Tignan nyo nga pala sa Facebook. Obviously, you're watching already from there, but make sure you like it. And kung gusto nyo ang... Uh, kung gusto Kung gusto niyo maging next Asurai, please um, join the program kasi meron kaming parang um, student shoutcaster thing that's happening right there. So, there are a few requirements. Unang-una, kailangan wala kayong bagsak. Kaya yung mga school bukol dyan, bawal kayo dito. Okay? <laughs> school bukol? <laughs> That's I can't I haven't even heard that word. Where did that even come from? That's like a, a word I'd hear from my titos anyway. Nineties or eighties. Nineties, exactly. But if you're one of those guys, bawal kayo dyan. Kaya, kaya kailangan kayong, uh, kailangan pasado kayo. Bawal may bugs yeah. yeah, true enough, true enough. Wow, so honestly, you can actually call us kuya now. Huh? <laughs> or Those tito. Are, eh, arg <laughs> arguable. Depending like if it's at, first, at what age? Would you say, pwede ka na maging tito? 25. Because it's like, I mean... Oh, 25 ka na, di ba? <laughs> oh, tito ka na. Pwede ka na magtito. Tito ka, tito. Asuray. <laughs> pwede na. <laughs> di ba ba? Di ba ba start yung game natin dyan production? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But anyways, guys. Again, this is only the Luzon qualifier para sa ating Valorant uh, leg ng NICL. I believe the NICL is also going to be having other games though i'm not really sure kung ano pa yung mga other um, games that are uh, included in this particular tournament but of course right now uh valorant is all the hotness para sa mga young ones and old ones ngayon uh, and uh, it's pretty fun to, it's pretty fun to play and again like i said yesterday then these uh, teams ngayon are going to be playing in patch 1.09 i believe uh game is already up and rolling and we are here welcome to haven guys Haven, I love this map. I, I say it every single time. It's my favorite map. It's so fun to play. I think it's because it's the biggest map and there's a lot more room to play. It feels more like a CS style map than, you know, the rest, which is very, you know, closed off. The rest of the maps of Valorant, they do feel quite claustrophobic. And admittedly, Riot has said that this is designed to be like this. But for me, you know, I really like the wide open spaces like... um. I, one of the reasons why I think they should make better, bigger maps, and we can talk about this for a second before we start the round, is because napaka for me, napaka val, napaka um I wouldn't say useless but diminish yung flankers 
sa game na to, you know, because you have anti-flankers like Killjoy, like Cypher, but with bigger maps, you can still have a val- valued flanker, and at the same time, you can still um, try to go for those risky flanks, you know, it's still mm-hmm. very possible to have good flanks and to be useful as an anti-flanker. Now, this is a tree uh, sighted map then, so... It's going to be actually, I would say, slightly in favor of the attacking side just because you're going to have to spread yourselves thin. Depend is uh, uh, positioning the mod defenders setting in, but it seems like Lasat and Friends, they're actually doing a, fan- a uh, good enough job na they're really bringing the fight sa simula pa lang sa UPHS. And 3 versus 5, that's not going to be too easy for them. Though, uh, UPHS is going to be barreling through Garage. They're not pushing in just yet. Maybe they're looking for a pick first before they come dito. But Mabras, with this one pick, he's going to be able to find them if he pushes just a little bit more. He saw the nade being thrown, and they should have an inkling kung nasan na ngayon itong Sova natin. He's right behind the stairs. My brother is just gonna be. Oh no! He didn't even need to know. Rage gets two before being shut down himself, and that's gonna be the pistol round. Parasol is and friends. And a good pistol round to start things off. Let's see if they can hang on to this momentum. Na parahalaga non dito sa Haven. And Makan wants to keep the ball rolling. He's gonna be picking up that you know that share. Uh, sorry, that uh, specter because of the fact that he wants to get that ball rolling he wants to get those kills he wants to be hot because if you're a duelist you want to be able to confidently say yeah i know how to beat these guys i want to instill fear in them just like in that previous game there is no dedicated smoker parasite that in friends maybe aside from the viper you know but you know you know what i mean like no brimstone no um no omen dito ngayon mavros is gonna be welcome with like five people Four people actually just a slow pushing onto the sea long area. He's gonna get spotted out by the wow by the recon dart, and he just peeks into the embracing burst fire of Pinot. And uh, that's gonna be a nice little peek in, and they got the sight themselves. Even uh, I believe the ghost of Mavros isn't definitely winnable. Bars the UPHS. Yeah, and I I'd say it's a good chance, especially considering the fact that C is a retakeable site. Makan. Getting that kill, that's so, so important right there. Pathos with the trade frag here. Gonna get traded out though by Rage himself and Makan still on the warpath. 1v2, quick flick, dashing in, three kills though. Has the ulti, has the smokes to make this possible. Does he have the time? Knows where Killjoy might be, but the second one is gonna seal the deal. Well played to turn things around. UPHS GMA with the Killjoy. Good stuff, denying that defuse, denying Makan another opportunity at victory, and we'll get the 1 1 score on the ego. Yeah, gotta give also credit to the Killjoy Don. Uh, comment is in. Pretty sure we didn't see this guy. Did we see this guy last round? Or yeah, we did. Player nila? Oh, okay. I think, didn't I think, uh... Sorry, actually, I'm not too sure. I'm just I'm just assuming. They might, this might be their six man. I can't remember his, if his name was out. Kanina. We have to make, make sure. But, anyways, him playing as the Killjoy. Really did solidify that round, and this is why it's so annoying to go up against. No, you're right. No, you're right. You know who's missing the the one who played Jet last game. Ah, Magnifico, right? Magnifico, so, yeah, it's Magnifico. So here. they did swap out. In any case, uh, good job for him. You know, setting up those nano swarms para lang makapag uh, makapag delay. Para dito kay Makan. Not trying to peek aggressively because even though Makan's like 18 H, you know that he can hit hit those uh, or rather win those duels quite easily. Going up. Pinot though. Has that flame wall. Rage, not gonna miss that opportunity with that Phantom. Will be falling back despite the rest of his team going in. Now they're just gonna decide to rotate out there. But they actually have information that no one is still in Garage, but it's gonna be an A hit regardless. Now, UPHS GMA, Sanapu Ayo Pupunta. It's gonna be towards that A site. Smokes out towards Heaven. It's gonna be landing nicely. Lear coming out will be taken down really quickly. Information gathered by that recon ball. Now it's a 4v5 retake on the A site. I do not favor the odds of Lestat and friends here. Cover going out. They just have to possibly forfeit this one. Not sure if they even have the weaponry to be able to retake this site. Uh, if they have some armor, maybe not. But Makan, he's gonna try to do something, make something happen. But he got shut down immediately as he tries to get the shutdown onto the Omen. This is gonna be a four versus one, and Mavros is gonna say to himself, "Yeah, forfeit na lang muna and uh, live the fight for another day. You know, maybe may not wash uh, rifle or anything that could be used into the following round." Man, Kim, uh, not sure what that peak was for. They knew that Mavros was already on their spawn, so I uh, just back away. You know, make sure, I guess. That's, That's true. true. Yeah, they know he's here. Pignot's gonna peek this. Oh, the timing. Oh. oh my gosh. Can he run to get the Vandal? No. 
And he lives. <laughs> that really works out for him. Yeah. That was, uh, yeah, 3,900 lost from Pinot. That's actually really worth it, that kill. No money, though. Here. Look at that. They're sitting on... Let's well, we don't see the full buy yet, but it's going to be the one classic, maybe. And then, not in a and not in saglit. It's going to be two specters, some bucky, still a assault rifle, para sa side ng listat and friends. So, hindi talaga maganda yung buy, okay, you know, in by any stretch of the imagination, it's not a good buy. Uh, it's still winnable, but they will be able to buy even though they lose on top of this. I mean, it's not a good buy because it's a good buy. Ooh, that flick though from Rage. I'd say that was a bit lucky because it was a through the wall headshot. That was definitely a stray bullet. Oh, and... that's not a stray bullet at all. Nope. <laughs> this really good mindset from Pinot there. Getting the shut down. Marvros though. Bawi siya ngayon. 3k before he gets shut down by Pinot. Two versus two. Pinot's just gonna go and try to make the most out of his uh, run it back. Pero. Baladurx, I like the idea. Black He's gonna be pushing through the site Nayon and leaving Harry was taken to fend off by himself. He's not gonna look right back into B. Because he alam. He only needed somebody who was on garage. And that's gonna be three rounds already part of the UPHS. They're doing a fantastic job to win the attacking side. Yeah. And sorry, a moment as I try to figure out some technical thing. It's okay. I understand. It's uh, every everybody has a technical thing, but you know, I'll I'll just uh, point out to some of our viewers that rage, he bought up with the what? Oh, he they swapped out Phantom to the Vandal. Okay, so they like Pinot being on this Vandal because again, Vandal on attack, um, especially with those one hit taps, even at farther ranges, very very strong. Makes sense for an entry fragger. Hello, good sir. I think I'm gonna rip out here the ultimate niya. Hunter's Fury. No, nothing used. But Rage, he's using the uh, Odin dito very uh, aggressively, and I like that he saved up the recon dart so he can use it to push out. Spots out the one man. Suppressive fire lang ngayon, But Rage, like I overstayed my welcome. Back out na muna ako, and Espinot destroys Pastos on C. He was the only one defending that site. Backs away, and Hunter's Fury will get activated. I think it hit a couple as well. Oh, I know you know, exactly Rage, he just wanted to get that are. information as well as delay tactics. And they're using everything in the arsenal <laughs> just to make sure that they have those angles already. And you can already see the si Comathez, uh, Comathezin is on C long with Ooh. the with the nano swarm just there for uh, stopping the defuses. Oh no. The timing. Oh no! no! Oh, he misses <laughs> the opportunity, but Makan though. <laughs> What? He's still keeping this going. He's doing economic damage from long. Three kills, forcing the ulti. And Mankeom here will be getting that last kill. That should be the round. He's going to go down with the bomb. It's an inevitability at this point, I think. Yeah. And yeah. That's going to be still the round one by UPHS, but by the skin of their teeth, Makan almost clutching that one. Para sa the Staten Friends, University of Cordilleras. Nakita mo that he was really trying to find Mankium, pero Mankium, a little bit sneaky. Nakapag uh, push through siya dun sa back of the sea site, and they didn't expect it. And Mavros was like, uh, okay, I did not see you there. Get shut down, and uh, there was no time for Makan to turn around and try to clutch it without the, the spike exploding. And also, no way to survive that. But real quick, though, getting some cool information from our um, project manager and our production here from Team Checkmate, the Philippine Science High School. So there's actually the senior high school students coming from all over the Bicol region to participate in this. Their first ever Valorant tournament uh, in general. They actually say that they'll be very excited to participate in this tournament and they play for fun and experience and of course the shot at fame because who doesn't want the shot at fame and it just goes to show that you know tournaments like this napakahalaga para sa local scene you elevate local talents at no matter what level and it keeps them going it keeps them getting stronger and because you're doing this you know you're really able to uplift even the pro scene at some level but that's one of the cleanest atakes like i've seen all day long Meron na tayong high school league, junior high, senior high. So I said, "Hindi pa din ng matupad yung gusto ko mangyari na anime uh, and sports anime dito sa 
sa Philippines in a, in the sense of you know oh guys napakagaling namin nung junior high kami and now senior high where it's like legitimate it's like yeah guys we're so good this may darating na senpai pag natalo sila sa college natuturuan pa na maging mas gumaling it's real guys pag ano mangyari ngayon dito sa Philippine esports with the NICL and actually you know what I would like to see a grade school level competition <laughs> Hindi nga kasi nung bata ako nag varsity ako ng you know okay. yung mga yung mga yung mga totoy varsity you know <laughs> tawag doon totoy varsity when I was a little boy you know when I was playing football for my varsity that's grade 3 ako uh, and you know it got me started it got me started into things that you build that muscle memory young man and same thing with video games cuz that's a weird shot to miss um you know you build up that muscle memory when you're young, the best time to learn these things is when you're young. I started playing video games when I was very young, and it gave me really quite an edge going, I know that you did the same. Uh, yeah. And maybe if we see like younger varsity leagues, how cute would that be? How cute would it be? I think it would be great. Yeah, we've seen it. And anyways, back to the ball game a little bit, Tito. Nice little flick there from Harry was taken. He's gonna try to go around the pero a little bit of his body exposed there. Kaya rage, he will oblige, shut him down. Pahos getting that nice little revive. Makan with the repeak, pero you can really see ngayon that on defense, Lestat and friends, nakikita yung kanilang big weakness is that their other four members are kind of struggling against UPHS. And again, that sounds a little bit mean, and uh, but it is what we are kind of viewing at this moment. If Makan doesn't get those kills, it's really just uh, not going into the favor of Lestat and friends. Makan trying to peek out there with an operator, gets shut down by Rage, and now they know where he is. He's just trying to kind of run, but Mavros. He turned his back on his opponent. He got shut down, and that's gonna be one to six in paper. UPHS. And you know, one thing would be really great um, if you had like those younger, you know, leagues with you know with with younger kids playing these games. It would be so good for those kids who are not like say physically, athletically gifted. You know, because there's a lot of kids who don't. Yeah, you just don't have the genetics for sports. Like me. And if you can get them started with esports, you know, yeah. um, they get to still have that competitive fun and still get to play and you know feel like they're in a competitive setting and learn teamwork and leadership and all those things. Yeah, with regular sports, I have the the uh, reaction time of a pencil, so I, I get it. I get it. You're right. Exactly. You're have you ever right. tried to watch basketball? Baseball? No, I haven't watched basketball though. You know, baseball is like you know. If you ever try watching baseball, it's the slowest sport in the world. But we just um. Isn't the but, slowest sport in the world chess or golf? Okay, like. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> but if you've ever watched a baseball game, and I actually played varsity baseball growing up, okay. it's a super slow because it's all, you know, um. I, I'm not even gonna describe it. It's just really slow. It's like a slow burn kind of sport. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, speaking of slow burn, medyo na iihaw na dito na onto Alastat and friends. Granted, they win that one though. Aggressive push onto mid, working in their favor, but they can't always do that again and again. Maybe they can though. This is risky, but uh, you know, up at this point with 2 to 6, 4 round deficit in favor of UPHS, what does Alastat and friends, University of Cordilleras, have to lose? That real little wall bang from Comet, Cometazin, not really. Uh, Finding any favors whatsoever. Makan hitting the shot. Uncharacteristic for kanya, but it's really gonna cost them because right now the B side has been taken. Cunning Crystal with a nice little flank back. Pinot will get the shutdown. Makan waking up a little bit dito, shutting down Rays, or sorry, Rage, but leaving them in two versus two. This is still very winnable for us, uh, UPHS. And Makan, he's tagged down to 30. I know, I'm not sure what he can do right now. They're booking it to A. Oh, they didn't the, force the plan. Oh, yeah, no, I love this play because if they go to A, they actually. Oh no, they got heard. I think. Yeah, but if they didn't get hurt, heard, that would have been a really good play because they have information that they're not coming from the A link, which means it's pretty much you know a lot of information given, limiting where the retakers can be from. Pinot though, picking up one, Mavros left here all alone will destroy the lockdown. One v two. Has something to play with here. Full flash. Not gonna get anything. Pinot finds a third kill. And it's gonna be 7 to 2. Tulad ng sinabi mo dito. Talagang nagsa struggle ang Lestat and friends ng University of the Cordilleras. 
hindi nila ma-hold ang kanilang site. Nakita natin to kanina sa bind uh, and we're seeing the same thing here again dito sa sa Haven. Pero you know, like I said, if this is going to be a map for Lestat and friends, it's got to be on Haven where their star player shines and you know where the attacking side can actually shine as well. That's how you survive. Maybe that's where they're gonna be able to come back. Attacking side dito, but uh, finishing this game two to ten is uh, really big a slap in the face. Nice little push in there from Pathos. Nernik ni yung steps through his uh, slower I minutes. Mean, like, yeah, much obliged. Pick right me up that uh, nice little kill. Revealing area. That will not dissuade the push of UPH, though. UPHS. Whoa. He didn't even see him through the no, through the recon. There. He's like, yeah, happy to oblige with that other kill. Kometa's in, pushing through garage. I'm not sure Pathos knows. I think nakapag rush in, pati Kometa's in. And he's going to be able to shut down one. Let's see if Kometa's in will get shut down himself. And this has looked to be. Much and much more better for the Satin friends coming into this uh, tenth round. Baladurk's gonna go for a little flank here. That's not uh, that turret is on his side, so he can maybe use it to his advantage. But it's a three versus one, and uh, in this situation, I don't know if Baladurk can really clutch it. But you never know. You never know. Never know, indeed. Three to one, and you know, the spike in no man's land. Not gonna, not gonna matter if this flank was spotted or not. Baladurx gets taken down by Harry, was taken anyway. But it's another round on the board here for Lestat and friends. And kung napansin mo actually, yung pinaka successful na rounds, din talagang convincing na round dito na galing sa Lestat and friends, was when they played aggressive. So this is one thing that Lestat and friends shine oh, in. It's nice spot. pushing their opponents back, forcing them to retreat, um, forcing them to play their game. So the aggressive plays, it's gotta come through. Five ultis, five ultimates right here from the Satin friends. Can they win this round? It would be a very big pickup if they do. That'd be great. That'd oh. be definitely great because that would mean that their opponents are in reach. Mabros, nice little uh, pre-fire uh, to do some damage as well. And Harry was taken way out in the I open. But exactly I know exactly position for Sadito, and he's not done just yet. He actually takes down. Oh no! Did they take down more than one? Yeah, I think they took down Red as well. So this is good, and now it's gonna force us to and friends to retake. Pero oh no, oh, no. Oh, okay. that was unfortunate. Harry was taken, getting three kills there. Some of the biggest kills for him. Four now in one of an important, one of the most important rounds we've seen for them. Once again, Last breaking the economy. The well, nearly breaking the economy here for UPHS GMA. Talagang kailangan nila tong round na to. Uh, they really, they really needed that last round. Sorry, um, and because of that, look, it's gonna be a bulldog onto Mankyo. Makan is gonna be buying an operator on defense on Haven when there's so many areas on long and maybe even on mid that you can, you know, kind of uh, uh, exploit. And I think this works, but he's gonna get pushed out, immediately smoked out as well. He fired like three shots, missed everything, and uh, that's a tailwind down. And that's what makes Jet the best op opera agent. And losing that, you have to make sure get that you can make way. that next shot without your dash ability work. But he did use his ultimate as well. Now, three ultimates still available, speaking of ultimates. Still got that one on Viper, on Jet, and on to that Sage here for the side of Lestat. Para naman sa UP, HSGMA. Paano naman ni Omen gagamitin ang kanyang ulti? Sa tingin ko, um, maybe just go to a site, get information there. Um, see what, what he can find, to see where, how many players are stacked on to C. How many players are stacked on to B? Just to give information, I think that would be worth it. But it's looking like it's gonna be a B hit. Pinot walks into the site. Oh. Gonna get a second one. Chris trades him out. But that's two very valuable kills to find here. Kometa's team. Not sure what he wanted to do left. with that one. Nice little flank from Ray. And A site has been taken. Pero exactly that. Pathos does bring Makan from the dead. But oh, oh, you saw that, you saw that oh, right? Rage was on the corner. He gets two. And now it's a one versus one. Cunning Chris is gonna try to go around their spawn. But he didn't know that Bla Balad Dirks has already teleported to heaven. Went down Switching on, sides. on stairs. And that was just beautiful coming out from Rage. The timing. Oh, sorry, uh, from Cunning Chris. The timing from that man. 
timing was great. He tried this a little bit earlier, but I think he was punished for it. Didn't get a single kill. But now, uh, Rage really has this sort of knack for getting into, you know, um, advanced positions and catching off things uh, together. Mm -hmm. Catching off players um, really, really well. And he's showing that once he is able to do that, he can hit his shots. It's really quite impressive. So um, props to him. And if he can keep that happening, you know, if you keep doing that as a defensive side, you give a massive advantage to your team, not only getting information, but also cutting off rotations. Yeah, actually, thanks for pointing that out. That does make a lot of sense then. That's why he's playing these uh, initiators, you know, to uh, think about it. Both um, both Breach and Soba play initiate, uh, are technical initiator agents. Now, Pinot, he has his nice little angle dito ngayon. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get the value that he wanted to. He wasn't able to shut down Pathos, so make sure to but Rage able to get one, no two. He has some nice chicken little lineup dito sa kanyang, uh, sa kanyang shock darts. Boost up onto Makan, and he's going to use that wall to his advantage. Sees out one, looks for a second, and this is what I'm talking about. The Satin Friends really just a dominating attacking team. And Makan gets four. He's alive once again. Yeah. Currently now, though, it's a 5-8. And as you can see, Makan, again, leading the charge here. Now it's his time to shine. They have the offensive side. They have three rounds to make up for it, though. They have won the previous round, so they will be in quite decent shape. Um, let's see what Lestat and friends can actually do with this. Sorry, they lost the previous round is what I was trying to say, but um, it's going to be two shorties. Mankyom actually forces and gets the marshal. I'm not too convinced about that. Hmm. Well, you gotta respect the force by. There's still a couple, a few rounds that they give up dito. But yeah, man came on a scout with his positioning being on C long. It's uh, a little bit risky. Ooh, Baladurk spotted out dito. Ngayon. I'm not sure if he's gonna get overwhelmed, but that was just a fluke. That was a um, a not push up into B. They were looking to go A and look at the repositioning dito. They were they heard so much footsteps. But they back away immediately, and you can see UPHS is kind of respecting that fact. And right now, this is just Latat and friends kind of using too many utilities for basically no control around the map. And they heard the drop of the Oh! oh. Bullet. oh yeah, he couldn't reload anyway, so. Man, Kyum, though. Left onto side. He is still a cypher, but he has. Remember, he has a marshal. This though, Makan. Yeah, there you go. Makan once again. It's Makan show all day long. He really loves to play these. Uh, para sabi natin to, um, James Bond, you know, solo circuit agent man. Yeah. I, it's not something you're used to seeing, especially from a duelist. Mm -hmm. But if it works, it works, right? Then Makan seems to make it work every single time, especially in attack. And now, well, to be fair, the man, ulang weapons, make ulang true weapons than UPHS, and they're yeah. gonna go for a kind of um, mix bag buy. This is on defense and University of Perpetual Help. Uh, they gotta respect. They gotta respect, and sometimes they don't reach. Just hit the shots, and Makan uncharacteristically. <laughs> misses those shots. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I know. But ang hindi na bubulo dito is Rage, is Pinot, and they're going for these aggressive pushes on mid, which is working out to their favor. No, uh, Basically, dwindling in numbers dito ngayon ng and friends to about half. And well, there's gonna be the Hunter's Fury, and they are hunting them down. Now, Pathos. Oh, tries to go for a pickup right there, but will be punished. Balladur finds three. And really, really good work from him there. 21 kills now each for Rage and Makan. Hindi naman si Pinyot, but it's going to be si Rage naman uh, ang top fragger dito para sa side ng UPHS. Interestingly enough, uh, reset the economy. Five specters. This only means that it should be a it should be a rush play. I mean, with five specters like that, it should be an execute. Yeah, they're just gonna go and basically brute force their way in. Pinot 
He's gonna counter flash right now. Makakapagtago yung iba dito ngayon. But look at the defense. Man Kim Pinyo, their connection is gonna be brutal and just on point. Man Kim is gonna go up against and look at that. UPHS, I thought they were gonna have a difficult time dito. But once they had the weapons rolling, um, they're not pushovers on their defense. Especially here, Sahibin. Hero... Oh no, I thought it was going to be a hero uh, rifle, but two rifles. It's force by after force by. Feeling ko dapat di sila nag force by dito eh, kasi ang dami pang rounds eh. Just give them the eleven, you know, the eleven six score line. It's not a lot. Um, and just you know, hope see what you can do. But I I, I don't like this at all. I I want to see Makan, you know, more on the operator. Uh, I want to see him getting early picks that they haven't been getting. Oh. Okay, Makan. Okay. <laughs> it's just Makan all day long. If he gets the kill, he starts it so well. If he Heaven. doesn't get the kill. Oh, 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 oh. Point. look at that. Pinyot, though, coming in from the side. Nako, it's gonna. He activates his run it back. Makan's like, yeah, just put out all your smokes already. Use it for cover for as much as possible. Mankium. Mankium. Mankium comes in from the side. Gets the one. Oh, Makan God, is there, Makan. but he's low. He's low. He can't. He can't possibly be able to clutch this. Yeah, but look at how Makan is working the smokes, man. He's just perfectly diving left and right around it. Gets finally taken down by Mankyum. But information is gathered and given. And Mavros will take that information and run it over the finish line to finally get another round for Lestat and friends. The force buy pays off. Uh, this is also what we were talking about, Kanina. Medjo, if he... I mean, I, again, I've been praising UPHS, but there's also one thing that has been their fatal flaw. The other players, nila, they're way too jittery in the sense that they want to push out. There was ample time to actually wait this for the, the yes. ice wall to break that down, maybe there. separate, or maybe even allow Mankium to kind of um, check out the corners first before they push down from heaven see Com Cometazine. And um, I think that would have at least sealed the deal because Mankium was in no Hurry position up. to win that against uh, Mankium. And, or Makan was oh, in no position to win oh. that against Mankium. He just hits those shots, and I mean, he's destroyed. missed a few, but he gets the One the necessary ones. But Mankyum finally heating up Nito ngayon para sa UPHS. And that's a big whiff right there from Rage. He actually saw already the head peeking out from the top and still actually loses that exactly duel here. But are. now it's going to be a seaside take. Spike planted right here. Cunning Chris closes it out. That's going to be two players left on the side of UPHS GMA. Comentazin looking for a tiny gap. They do have in oh that they don't actually spot him. The recon doesn't spot him out. So that's actually big opportunity for Comentazin to actually come in here. Or not, as Mavros actually gets this one. Nice flick from Baldurks though. Will be spotted out by the recon. He has no information on Simakalaban Dito, so he has to just respect na. I'm not gonna be able to clutch this, so might as well just try to run away. But the main problem is that he kind of um he waited too long, yeah. and he didn't put any smokes outside, so everybody else was just, yeah, yeah narinig namin na dinarap mo yung op mo, we hear that you picked up the op, and push out, kita ka, had your pants down, and basically shoot you down, easy. You know, I like the, um, I like, uh, there's this point that you mentioned that they were too jittery, and that's definitely true. The reason why I think that Makan was able to get four kills is because they were pushing around the smokes, and Makan was just working those smokes. He was working those smokes so well, getting one, two, three, four kills total because of the way that he was just dancing around UPHS GMA, who was too excited to get onto the site, you know? And if you sort of let, you know, Makan onto a site like that, dance around those smokes and pick you off individually there's no way you can get trade frags and secure the round and secure the you know secure the retake there's no refrag opportunity available and with that you know you know hanap na hanap ng lestat and friends i still used to be able to minesweeper yung mga traps dito ngayon ni killjoy gonna get overwhelmed and makan once again obliterating kometa zin in the blink of an eye it's gonna be the stage wall. It's gonna be broken down immediately, but you know that they can't really push through that way too aggressively. Rage gonna be able to shut down Mavros. He's gonna go for the full flank, Tito Mayon. And look at that! Baladurx is so insane! Goes right in! But it's not working. It's not working. Rage is gonna get spotted out. He actually gets the kill right now. And this is winnable. He's gonna go up against Makan. But if he can hit this one, the shot might actually connect. He's running through. What is gonna happen right now? He 
assumed that Macron was going to be playing underneath heaven and didn't assume that he was just going to wrap around the main box at A side. Kaya, Macron was like, happy to oblige, get that fourth headshot. And he secures the round for Lestat and friends. And look at that, 9th 10 at ayong illustrado. Actually, Macron, naka ano lang. 49 HP lang siya nun eh. Kung linakasan lang ni Rage yung shock dart niya ng onte, kill yun eh. That would have been a, a you know that would have been definitely a kill in the round, uh, but really I think a big mistake yeah. to start running when there was still a little bit of time to find the last player. But in the end, of course, hindsight is twenty twenty. Now nag adjust na ngayon. It's still interesting to see the UP HS GMA really struggling on this defensive side, despite the fact that they have two sentinels, no. But now C is the site of choice here, Makan. Opening up the site once more, and the spike will be planted. Should be another round for them, but the ulti right here from the Sova will be denied. No! Oh my god! What a spray transfer from Makan! Somehow picking 3-4 kills before he goes down. And um, he's been uh, he's been taking his vitamins. He's been drinking his milk, man. He's just hitting these shots and his bones, allowing him to uh, bones and muscles, allowing him to get those nice little spray transfers. Even a fourth kill, right? Man, medyo naging uh, sobrang para ba sabihin natin to? Sobrang weird nung crossfire na nangyari. He was getting caught off, but that was just freaking fantastic, ngayon. Para dito sa Lestat and Friends, University of Cordilleras, doing a fantastic job. That was, uh, that flick was, what? That was insane. 33 kills now for Makan. That's 230 bombs in a row, huh, mind you. It is 32, 30 bombs in a row. We've never seen that before. That's the first time we're seeing that here. And just goes to show the caliber of player that Makan is. Now, he will we'll have to do a little bit more if he wants to carry his team. I like this contact play. Look at that. Oh, they spot him out. Makan, what you gonna do? Dashing in. Lear, gonna back him up. Perfectly done. Now onto the side. One more player. They know he's here. Can he still survive though? Does he know? Pinot gets one, gets two. They're biting back, but Cunning Chris chiming in with a refrag though. It's still a 3v3. Mankeum, he's in a bad spot. Rez is available though. Rage will get three himself and clean up the round. Another round for UPHS GMA. Wow. Sorry, I was having a little bit of. Uh... Feed stutter, so I didn't see the clutch. Na yun, but well, they got <laughs> they got their eleventh round. Maybe they're getting hit up on UPHS dito sa defense, but you know what? They're they're still holding on. And kita mo even if Pinot is kind of like the star player from the bind game, na nakita ni kanina, it's now Rage who has picked up the mantle of let's say um, the forefront. You know the the tip of the spear para dito sa UPHS and he's doing a good job at keeping his teammates afloat even though they are losing many many rounds in their defense side Lestat and friends they are like I said you know um, offense they're good on offense and they're good at letting Mac and shine and especially on a map like Haven this is where they start to really do well here it's very possible we see a third map now UPHS GMA they should not be losing this honestly oh my god getting caught off in rotation there was no way he could have. He should have um, actually used the trap there, I think. But now an ultimate coming out. Sell this position, you know? Yeah, exactly. He should have trapped himself to get away. Pinot, though. Oh my god. Pin it is like the Pinot versus Makan show. Kung hindi makakuha si Pinot, makakuha si Makan. Kung hindi makakuha si Makan, si Pinot naman ang kukuha. And he's just going at it. Rage, though. He gets himself a nice little. Uh, consolation kill there, Kehari was taken, and now we're match actually point. up to match points. So all of this investment oh that we now UPHS, the virtual University of Perpetual Help, from the first half has proved dividends. Because if you think about it, if they didn't have that many rounds on the first half, they would still be struggling right now to last that, my friends. But now they're one win away to getting 2-0 in this best of three series. You know, Makan has 36 kills. Ito yung tipong sasabihin mo nagsusmurf eh, no? Smurf. <laughs> Smurfing Smurf. eh, kahit pro league eh. Pero, well, you know, semi-pro league. But still, 36 kills on Dumaran. That's one of the highest we've seen. Nice dash out. The, the awareness. Ang ganda. Oh, Pinot, he missed the super crucial spray down. And Harry was taken. Takes one, takes two. Makan follows up. And what looked like to have been... 
the closing Five round dito ngayon for UPHS. Mukhang gusto pang i-push in ng Lesat ito sa overtime. Looking like it's quite possible here as a rage will get one for himself. Makando will look to deny this. Holding on to Garage, making sure nobody can really push through. See if he can hold on to this. Balladurks will look to stop him, but Rage will finally go down. He gets three before going down, and it's Lestat and friends making this dream still alive. 11 to 12 right now, and we could be going to overtime, ladies and gents. Man, I mean, granted, Lestat and friends just did a fantastic job. Uh, I, I keep saying that, right? But anyways, they did... Just a well enough job na nakuha nila dito si Pinot, who did not expect Hyrule was taken, pushing into Garage. Nobody was really hold, helping him hold that angle. And Makan is close to getting that 40 bomb. They're one, one game away or from pushing it, or sorry, one round away from pushing this into overtime. Pero economy not broken for UPHS, so they can still buy up. And this is still something that the Saturn friends have to put into account. He's gonna spot out one and two. Paladurks, he got the headshot as well, pero I think it went through his um his opponent and that's gonna be a full-blown heal. Para dito kay Mavros and I'm not sure how Pinyon's gonna try to fend them off because they're nowhere near a site. He spots out one though, so that's good, that's good. Oh, definitely. It's a good start. Four to four right now, very possible, but the... Oh, the, you know, the, the turret will actually give away the information, but... Running ha rather haphazardly into Garage. Rage, why would you use it with an Odin? Makan finding another one, looking for the 40th kill here. Will he close the deal, looking like it's going to be? Will take down Cunning Chris, though, but Makan still left breathing, and as long as he is still alive, there is hope. That's what we've come to know. Makan looking for a third, looking more like we're gonna go into overtime, but Pinot here, he has been one of the cruxes for his team. Can he find another one? That's a little bit awkward, but he gets the information anyway. That's a Leer. It's good. It gets the kill onto Makan, but it doesn't matter. Harry was taken, gets the trade. We go into overtime, ladies and gents. Switching sides. 41 Ooh. kills in regulation, Asurai. 41 kills in regulation. That's a record broken. Makan is setting the the, the standards for <laughs> uh student players here at the NICL. Again, uh, in partnership with Youth, Youth Esports Program and Mineski. And we have ourselves the first overtime in the Luzon qualifiers and technically the first time deepest NICL. Definitely. Exciting. Exciting. Dude, he has more. Makan has more kills than all of his team combined. I might suck at math. 10, 20, 30, 35, 30, yeah, 30, 30, 30, 38, 40, 41. Whatever. He has more than a soul team combined. I'm just gonna say that. That's that's insane. That's it. That's insane. More than his whole team. His whole team. His whole team of four players combined, he has more kills than them. At 12-12. That's just not something you see. You know what? There is still a possibility he can maybe even break the 50k mark. The 50 kill mark. Wow. I'd say it's possible. Yeah. Second overtime? Third overtime? It's possible. Maybe. Uh, now EPHS gonna be angling themselves either to push up onto the A side. Now this wall, right it's not really good when your opponent is still pushing through long. It's better if your opponent has already got slightly gotten onto the side, so you can cut off their um, their vision as they're pushing in. I'm not sure what's gonna happen dito ngayon. As UPHS Ooh. is looking to go and push in, Ooh, Pinyal has taken quite a bit of damage. Immediately heals himself with the hot hands. But UPHS, they're very close to exploding here. You to say A site, and nobody is here right now on this side as well. He's lost his shields, though. It's going to be a retake on A. That's not never pretty. That's never pretty. See if they can hold him off. Makan, though, looking for the quick flicks, looking for the taps. Will he be given the chance? Will be Tailwind out of it. Love the play right there to get away from it. Pinot, though, comment in. They chime in with two kills themselves. It's a good flash right here, though. Now Harry was taken, looking to push through these angles. L has to has to find a couple. Low HP though on you know Pinot, so he will have to come out huge. Though Comenta's in, that's gonna be the traps here. Killjoy does get one. They actually do destroy the lockdown, so it's now a one v one situation. Pinot, he's come up huge for his team. Will he be able to find this kill here oh. in overtime? Does he know he's playing this so so smart, and he's got this. Pinot, three kills to take that round, stealing it away from Lestat and friends. What a Herculean effort from him. 
I was taken was expecting Pinot to actually be positioned on short. No. Well, to be fair, that was like a like a common area where your opponents are gonna be rotating themselves, but they gave they gave Comethazine enough kills that he could actually have used the ultimate. And that I mean that it, that just meant that Harry was taken had to also break the ult before he could try to deal with Pinot. And Pinot was like, I had more time more than enough time to actually reposition and you know, just live to fight for another day. And basically just win the duel because his opponent did not know where he was. I'm interested in this judge pick right here. They actually chose the judge onto the killjoy on uh, onto Comenta's in instead of going for an actual gun and they're letting them take A. So I guess A is really the place of choice. And I'm I'm saying second overtime here. I'm calling second overtime. But oh shock dart though. Nice shock dart. Important kill to find. They're waiting. They're just gonna go straight in and who's gonna win this duel? Pinot or Makan? It's gonna be Pinot! Oh my god! Oh. The shock dart to connect onto Pinot there, but Pathos done the damage. Kometazine is here on the corner. He's not gonna be able to hit the shot. It's up to Pinot. Up against Pathos. There is gonna be a revive. Immediately gets the revive. Can he get the kill? He spots out the one. He has enough time. He has enough time, but he uses the ultimate. No! Oh no! Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. Just go for the defuse. I don't even know if he can defuse this straight up. And no, he's gonna go back to his body. Even then, we're gonna go to second overtime. That was a big misplay to use the um, the hot hands. I think the moment the Reds came out and he got the kill, he should have just oh, jumped down. Because there was no no more time left. But, you know, regardless, we're going into second overtime here. And this is one of the best games that we've seen so far here in YEP. Amazing level of play that we're seeing here from both of these teams. Check out Rage and Pinot. They're, all, they're both standing at 33 and 32 kills, uh, respectively. <laughs> yeah, just seven eight more. kills away from 40k Makan. So Makan's not the only one breaking achievement and milestones. It's also Rage and Pinot. I mean, they are great numbers. It's just currently, parang na, parang na overshadow lang siya na no si Makan kasi uh, 41 na siya, eh. mm -hmm. you know. Um, you gotta feel for Pinot there. He. He was panicking when he was going because that bomb was, or that spike, sobrang thick niya na, and uh, he had a couple of options there left for his niya. Anyways, this is gonna be second overtime already, and yeah, it's it's very diket na diket ngayon, and I'm not sure if Rage is gonna be able to shut down Makan because Makan is about to peek this corner dito ngayon sa Enemy kill. sa site natin, and he's gonna be able to shut down Pinot, and that's not really good. He's not gonna know. Rage was able to go through, and the big hitter, Paras and his and friends, is already down. Kometa's not even broken here. And they're gonna be able to go onto the site. They know that one is there already. They're gonna spot the second one as well. And this is looking way, way better now for si UPHS. And this is on attack. They do better on defense as well. So, think what's going Yeah, so this is a really good opportunity right here. One versus three. We'll get tagged a little by the shock dart. Information given away, but low HP. Not exactly the best idea. That actually could cost them right here if Mavros clutches this. But. Uh, still has a smoke. Remember, Mavro still has a smoke. If he wins, this is possible. Ooh. But it's Cometazine again. Meron siyang ano? Meron siyang nano swarm. That's the one. Oh yeah. no, there's no way now. No, there's still a way. There's oh. still a way. Oh, yeah, that, that's still winnable. That's it. Wait. Doesn't get it. It's gonna I be yes. close. I say yes. I say yes. I say no. Uh... Oh. Oh, he gets it! Too early oh on the Nano Swarm God. for Cometazine. Ooh, that's frustrating for Cometazine, for sure. He thought that his opponent was already on the bike. I don't, I don't know, maybe... Maybe he thought that his opponent was already there, but if he just waited for the tap, if he waited for the tap, I think that would have been enough. Little bit antsy. Pull the trigger a little too soon, and just goes to show you. Na yung game na to talagang ano eh? It's a game of inches, you know. It's a game of millimeters of centimeters. Magkamali ka lang ng onte, it will cost you the round. In a game which is so tense, like overtime, there's really no room for error here. And Makan makes a big mistake, gets caught off, and gets picked off right here. 
giving a big advantage right now to UPHS JMA. And what we've known, every time Makan goes down early, nananalo dito ang, nananalo dito ang uh, UPHS GMA. Whenever Makan goes down early. So it's looking like a triple overtime. Ngayon, uh, being in overtime, the one thing na nagiging prevalent talaga, especially sa mga players na, uh, sabi natin na hindi pa ganun ka, you know, experience sa mga competitive tournaments, especially for, I would say, players, uh, you know, school, um, sorry, student players din natin, is that fatigue is such a big thing. Because sometimes you just lose yourself na hindi mo na lang ako ginagawa. And that might be something then dito, Makan might have uh, missed the foresight to actually, you know, peak the middle area. And it seems like we are gonna go for triple overtime as Baladurk just destroys two. And they just make quick work without Makan. Oh, na Lasat and friends really struggling underneath the weight of needing to be needing Makan in every single round. Grabe talaga. Ang lupit ng laban. Ang lupit. Napaka-init mga kaibigan. Triple overtime na. What? May isa pang si... Mga kaibigan, may isa pa tayong series ha. May isa, may isa pa tayong game. <laughs> Meron may isa pang series. Madami pa to. Back and forth. You know what? I've never seen a more than triple overtime in any tournament. May Are we gonna see a quadra? Right? Penta draw. over... Illustrado? I, you know, I'm saying it's it's possible. Napaka, you know, deadlock talaga ng teams na to eh. It's it's a stalemate as far as stalemates are concerned. Rage once again is using his uh dinjan para ma check yung bangable spots dito ngayon. Kumita zine. Oh, the timing. The timing couldn't have been worse. <laughs> Cunning Chris was like looking somewhere. I'm not sure why he did. Maybe he was expecting that my mom could push a garage dito, but everybody else from UPHS just backs away and goes hidden here to A House. Advantage now, UPHS GMA. What can you do? Where are you going to go? It's inevitably going to go towards A site. Execute. Flash come in right here. Pinyot. Sangana. What can you do? Makan getting an opening frag right here. Mavros looking to hold down that angle. Shock dart will be denied, will be exposed, but not gonna land. Pinyot looking for more. Will be traded right now for by Pathos. Now Makan still alive up in this two for three. And now Comentazine will bring it to a two to two. Both star players dead right here. Pathos will have to come up huge. Healing quite low. Harry was taken. Is there to bail him out? Comentazine will trade that kill. Oh my god, he's got it. 13 seconds left. They still have a little bit of time. We'll force him out. Has to go onto the site right now. Is there enough time to plant Cometazin? What are you gonna do? Will he expect Pathos right behind him? No! He will not wait it a little too long. And I love Pathos. He holds that. He waits in the so ultimate in the on. killjoy. In the killjoy ultimate. The lockdown just to deny the plant. It's a risk and it paid off. I'm sorry if I said Makan. That was Cometazin. But Cometazin panicked. He had six seconds on the clock, and if you guys, hindi nyo alam kung gano oh, katagal yung pag plant ng spike. It's about four, yes. three point nine, four seconds to be able to plant the to plant the spike. He had two seconds. If he waited one, two second more, he could have actually disabled his opponent, planted the spike, and even shut down his opponent because that that is how long a opponent gets um, disabled by the old knee killjoy. So it really goes down to these seconds na lang talaga. And you can really see ngayon that um, our players right now are, uh, let's say, nag panic sila to a certain degree. Makan though, of course, is not going to be panicking right now. He's in his zone, he's in his element, and they are rushing to the side. And this is the last round already, Paris. I mean, I'm there. Lo oh, using no, this may put us in wall. Ooh, big damage as well with that uh, shock start though. And Baladar shut down multiple. Now it's going to be Mankeom who actually picks it up. Oh my god, quadruple overtime. Is it going to happen? Spike will be defused. Oh my god, no. He pulls it out at the wrong time. Will be chased around the corner. Will he survive? Harry was taken. He's holding on, but the defenders have a actually succeeded. Oh, the defuse. What are we watching, Asurai? Oh, Quadra overtime. Yeah, let's go. You don't see that every day, and Makan is getting closer to 50k, pero analyzing that a little bit more dito, Illustrado. I think 
they did not have to try to do anything. It was planted for them para sa mid. And since the defenders dito uh, at the time, which was UPHS, did not have a a sage, Let's Not and Friends did not have to try to go fight that, but they did, and they paid the ultimate price. And they were just kind of caught out in the open, especially with uh, Baladurks. Na it was like, yeah, nandiyan kayo sa harapan ko. I'm just gonna take the kills dito. And he does, it does, gets two kills. And now, we're looking at another reset once again. Who will break first? Is it gonna be Lissat and Friends or UPHS? University of Cordilleras or University of Perpetual Help? Guys, kung manalo ang Lissat and Friends, may isa pa tayong game. Ha? Hindi pa ito tapos, ha? <laughs> Quadru, hindi pa ito tapos. Tsaka may isa, pang, may isa pa tayong series, kaya... Yung mga nanonood dyan, chill-chill lang kayo. Feeling ko, kuha na kayong snacks, kuha na kayong hapunan. Kung di pa kayo naghahapunan, tambay-tambay muna. Tagal-tagal pa to mga kaibigan. There they are. Okay. UPHS is gonna be pushing now onto the... Oh. That was quick. That was, that was a clean take. That was clean and crisp. Pinyot. Oh my god, what a pick right there. Mavros will be flashed off the angle. I don't think he's gonna do this. This should be another round right here for UPHS GMA. Switching sides. Oh. Is this finally the round? I'm I'm not sure. Like, right here. Well, malakas kasi yung less stats right attacking eh. Kaya Kaya, eh. Ang hirap, ang hirap sabi. 45 ngayon ang kills ni Maan! Yeah. Para naging oh, name yeah, natin dito. Para sa Lestat, at least. Lestat is so good in attack. But there there needs to be some work sa defending side nila. And that's and a little, that, bit, little bit of an understatement, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For sa UPHS, Rage and Pinyot really is the connection that they need to, um, to just be able to clutch these rounds. Kameto Zin, even though he is the bottom fragger, he has shown a lot of uh, really great plays, man. Especially to sa ating overtime oh. angles, man. Pathos though missing. A oh no, Pathos is taking down Kometazine. That Baldur is gonna be peeking out. It's a really good split right there. Pathos gets gets, gets taken down, but look at how much time he's bought right here. But look at this though, Baladur is getting two from the corner now. It's a three versus two right here. Cunning Chris oh. misses a golden opportunity now. Baladur is in a terrible spot oh. and it's gonna be UPHS GMA to close it out after four rounds of overtime qualifiers pa lang to, mga kaibigan. It's 17-15 final score and oh my god, what a treat we just saw. The the ferocity and perseverance para sa UPHS to even be able to keep a calm collective head as a five-man team. Allowing themselves to just say, na kaya natin to guys, kaya natin to. Rage and Pinyot doing a fan freaking tastic job to be able to clutch us out. And were they able to break the 40-kill the, the 40 barrier? Mukhang hindi, but they were 37 kills apiece. Combined, they have 74 kills. Makan has 45. This was a yeah. high kill game. <laughs> Definitely. And I want to point out Makan, dude. Look at that. 11 first bloods. 11. But I'll reiterate ko lang yung point natin. We had what? 2, 4, 6, 8 rounds of overtime. I yeah. think. Or 7 rounds of overtime. And then Makan actually, in those 7 rounds, he only got 4 kills. So, mm. nag quiet down siya because he, he was uh, 41 kills in regulation, um, which is amazing. But, you know, coming into that last round, that was basically um, him quieting down a little bit, sort of running out of steam. Na ubus na ang energy na dinala ni Imakan, and really rather. Um, it was a great effort from him, but still, the rest of the team needed to step up. Nakita naman natin, you know, the rest of the members of, you know, Lestat and Friends, hindi nila na uh, keep up. Yung, uh, yung pace dito ni Makan. Yeah, for sure. And Harry was taken and Mavros. They they did it they did a good a good job. Uh, as this, the, as the secondary and tertiary para dito kay uh, Ma, you know combining with Makan. Pero honestly, nakita din natin talaga na Lasat and friends really did struggle without Makan. In, if he gets shut down at the start of the round, they really do struggle a lot. I mean, sometimes Mavros on or uh, Harry was taken will get clutches, but that's Way too far and few in between. Anyways, let's go for highlights, Zito, guys, to see the uh, the great plays that we had in that game too. It only took 
up to fourth overtime para ma walan ng steam dito si Makan. And you know, big props for U- UPHS for actually being able to hold on that long and not uh, not actually just hold on that long, but to Rage and Pinot for being the dynamic duo that this team needed to uh, get the get those rounds in. Four overtimes lang naman. Four overtimes lang naman. <laughs> Pero <laughs> actually gusto na tingnan na nga na ang ganda talaga ng the the, the play of wow. Look at those shots right there. It would be really interesting to see how Ma- what Makan brings. You know, the more that he plays this game, the more that we will see him in future tournaments. But again, guys, this um, this tournament that we have right now is, uh, I believe, single elimination. So, no second chance for Lestat and friends. Dito, they're gonna have to go back to the drawing board. But that doesn't mean that it's all over, right? It's there's still so many chances they can bring in. NACL is just starting. There's still gonna be more tournaments then that's available for our um, aspiring. E athletes in the uh, in the school space. Yeah, <clears throat> amazing. Like, I just have to point out. Like, I'm watching the replays and Makan just so mechanically gifted. Like that spray transfer that we saw earlier. Look at that. The dash out. The moment he sees there's two players in front of him and he's in a disadvantageous spot, he updrafts out. And the game sense to be able to do that is just phenomenal. What uh, what you know? What a hero right there that we're seeing, dude. I, I'm saying this right now, pro teams out there, you gotta watch out for this kid, man. He's he's insane. Can always get better, especially when you're at that age. You know, you're just uh, you know how people always tell me na oh yeah, when 17, 16, you're still a sponge. Kaya pang dahil pang pa absorb, and this is this definitely is a game. Uh, a tournament that Makan and his teammates can absorb, you know, trying to get themselves better in the uh, Valorant space. In any case, guys, that just concludes our first best of three, and we still have a second best of three. So we're going to take a quick breather, Dito, guys. Actually, I believe our next match is... Um, uh, where is it? I think it's going to be UC Jaguars versus Checkmate. So come back in just after 10 minutes and we're going to continue with that second best of three. Anyways, the National Interschool Cyber League is brought to you by UE Sports Program and Neski. Ang pala pa si Asaray and this with me here is Illustrado. We're going to be coming back at you after this quick break. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.